All living things on Earth are made up of cells, so what are the chances that even a first cell could have accidentally formed? About 150 years ago, when Charles Darwin was alive, the cell was considered to be something like a simple, unsophisticated microscopic blob of jello. As a result of recent discoveries, however, we now know just how amazingly complex these extraordinarily small cells are. The adult human body contains a hundred trillion cells of various sizes. 10,000 average size human cells could fit on the head of a pin, and every single cell contains information equivalent to about 4,000 books. The information for all the cells in one adult in book form would completely fill the Grand Canyon more than 75 times. The cell is similar to a supercomputer but microscopic in size. The cell could also be viewed as an amazingly miniature city, with an elaborate network of connected assembly lines with numerous molecular protein machines carrying out different tasks which make the cell work. For example, in the cell there are little molecular trucks that travel over microscopic highway-like structures carrying materials around the cell. One example of a molecular machine in the cell is the flagellar motor that some bacteria use to swim. It is a molecular rotary motor that has a whip-like tail that can operate at up to 100,000 revolutions per minute. This is a picture of the flagellar motor magnified more than 50,000 times. It is one one hundred thousandth of an inch long. Eight million of these tiny motors would fit inside the cross section of a human hair. You can see the details of its construction. It is made up of 30 different protein parts. It looks like it was designed by an engineer. The flagellar motor is extremely similar to an electric motor. Rotating forward and backward, the flagellar motor drives a bacterium through extremely sticky liquid conditions. As a result of the flagellar motor, a bacterium's top swimming speed is estimated to be the same as a human swimming at 60 miles per hour. If that doesn't sound impressive to you, consider that the fastest swimming speed of a human ever recorded was about five and a half miles per hour. Thus, the bacterium using the flagellar motor can move about 11 times faster than the fastest human swimmer ever recorded. All 30 distinct parts of the flagellar motor are essential. So if you remove one of the parts, it will not work at all, and the bacterium will die. The flagellar motor is similar to a mouse trap. For a mouse trap to work, you need all the different parts, and if you remove one of the parts of the trap, the trap won't work at all. The construction process of the flagellar motor requires all 30 different interacting parts to be assembled correctly and placed at the proper locations at the proper time. The construction process also requires instructions, translation, and feedback within the cell at both the beginning and end of the process. If all this does not happen, these amazingly tiny machines or their various individual parts will not be built or assembled correctly. But how would these numerous microscopic machines or parts know where to go and how to build things correctly in an evolutionary system? They wouldn't. It would be impossible. These facts refute and eliminate Darwinian evolution, which is, by definition, a blind, undirected process without either plan or purpose. 